A lot there to you in this problem. We're going to solve some uh, profit maximizing type questions for a perfectly competitive firm. And we're actually told that this is a perfectly competitive firm. It says it right there. But if it didn't tell you that, um, then you're going to see that these lines are horizontal and those are going to be your marginal revenue uh, lines. So where the price is 21. Uh, we're going to follow that right over here, um, and that's where it hits marginal cost. Well, why do we care about that? Well, that is profit maximizing uh, quantity, or sometimes said as profit maximizing output. So it says, how much quantity will the firm produce in the short run? So it's going to be where MR equals MC. That happens right here. So follow this over here. That's MR. Marginal revenue under perfectly competitive firms is going to be the same as price. So price equals uh, marginal revenue because each additional unit that we sell will be sold for the same price. So each additional unit just adds to total revenue by that price. So in this case, it's 50. Okay, it's profit maximizing uh, condition right there. Total revenue earned by the firm. Uh, total revenue is just going to be price times quantity. So we know the quantity is 50. We know the price is 21. So we'll just grab calculator. I think it's 1,050, but uh, let's make sure here. 21 times 50, 1,050, because I did that one before. Get this one in orange, I guess. 1,050. And then total cost, this is going to be our average total cost times quantity. So quantity is 50. Average total cost, we're going to come down here to where it hits average. Uh, we're going to come down here to where it hits average total cost. Okay, so that right there is 13. So it would be 13 times 50, which is 650. That's our answer there. And then are they making a profit or a loss? So you got a couple options here. You can say, what's the total revenue? Subtract the total cost. If that's positive number, then they're earning a profit. If it's negative, they're suffering a loss. This is they're earning a positive profit. It's 1,050 minus 650. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can say, uh, what's the price minus average total cost? And then we're going to multiply that by quantity. OK, so in that case, it would be 21 minus 13. So that would be uh, 8. 8 times 50 is also 400. So same deal. You, you could also even see this graphically uh, if you wanted to just draw it. So this is total revenue right up to there, down here to total cost, and then the difference there would be your profit. Okay. Sometimes profit is written as pi too, by the way. So in some classes you'll see it as as pi okay and then the firm will shut down in the short run if the price falls below whatever the average oops the average variable cost minimum is which is also the place where it hits marginal cost so we just need to find marginal cost take that up to the average variable cost minimum that's eight dollars at eight dollars the firm will uh if the price is below eight dollars, they'll shut down. If the price is between eight and twelve, they'll produce in the short run. And then in the long run, we're going to look for average total costs minimum. Where does that hit uh, marginal cost? Where do those equal? And that's of course the minimum of average total cost curve, which is right here. So that would be twelve. That would be twelve in this problem. So that's going to take apart a perfectly competitive firm. In this case, when they're making a profit.